We're learning about ourselves today. When your brain is as complicated as mine, learning about yourself is not always fun. But nonetheless, it must be done. It must be done. Introspective is a big part of life. So I'm doing the MBTI test today and I've done it before uh, years ago and I'm very curious to see what my new personality, not my new personality, but like what my, <laughs> what my personality type is now as a 26 year old because I, it's been a while. The last time I took this test, I got IN, was it INTP? It was the logician, that's all I know. Yeah. INTP was my personality type and apparently it is a less common one it can be kind of rare but not super rare I guess that means I'm special so today I'm gonna be taking the MBTI test again and see what I am which is so cool I wonder if I'm gonna be the same I don't remember the questions or the answers so it's really gonna be brand new to me I'm gonna make myself a little square on the screen so you can see the test which is unfortunate because I do look really good today and I felt like the world needed to see it but it's okay so we're gonna take the test and see where I'm at mentally all right you regularly make new friends. Agree or disagree? Ooh. Okay, so this one's hard to answer because we're currently in a Panera Bread, but right now I would say it's pretty neutral leaning towards making new friends because I'm very open to making new friends. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Uh, yes, I definitely do. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you wanna cry too. Yes, bitch, I'm emotional, I'm very emotional. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Mm, no. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Uh-uh, hell no. Mm, let's do it, yeah. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Okay, so like internally, I don't wanna do that. Like if, if you put me around people, I will introduce myself but I don't approach people, you know what I mean? You rarely try to introduce yourself and mostly talk to the ones you already know. It's so hard to say because like I barely go to parties. Like we're in a pandemic Lovato, so I don't really remember. I'm gonna go with agree, but like not too far in the agree, you know? You prefer to completely finish one project before starting it. Hell no, I'm all over the place. I'll be doing 10% of this, 10% of this, 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 this. It's a chaotic mess. You're very sentimental. Way too sentimental. I keep everything. I keep photos. I keep letters. I keep cards. I keep everything. But I'm trying to become like more of a minimalist. So, you know what? Nah, I'm sentimental as fuck. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Yes. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Yes. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. If I'm with people, yes. But if I'm alone, no. So I'm gonna put neutral. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. Disagree, completely disagree with that. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. I don't know, I thought I was more of a following my head person, but turns out I'm more of a following my heart person, I think, I don't know. <sighs> disagree. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Okay, so there's prefer and there's actually doing. I prefer to do what I feel like at any moment, but what do I actually do is I have a routine. So uh, I'm gonna do disagree because that's not what I do. You rarely worry about whether you'll make a good impression on people you meet. Mm, I don't know if I care about the impression. I think that I care more about like, I'll like reflect and be like, oh, I wonder if they like me out of curiosity, but I don't actually care. So rarely worry. Yeah, I, I would agree. I don't really care. You enjoy participating in group activities. Mm, not really. I like quality time with people. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. No. Mm -mm. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Disagree, I'm sorry. You're interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Agree. You're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Disagree. Not with a lot of attraction being a thing. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Absolutely not, I disagree. I'm constantly taking lead. 
You're definitely not an artistic type of person. I disagree. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings? Um, I think I would say absolutely yes. Yes, yes, agree. All the right, agree. You prefer, ah, uh, then again, I would, yeah. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Absolutely agree, yes. You enjoy watching people argue, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't enjoy watching people argue, but like, do I like to be a nosy bitch in a messy situation? Absolutely. If I see some shit going down, down the street, I'll be like, but if it's like my loved ones, then I don't want to, I don't want to hear. I'll like put music in, drown it out. I hate hearing people argue. So I'm going to do neutral. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. I agree. Yeah. But like sometimes I low-key like attention. So like not fully agree. Your mood can change very quickly. Agree. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient with you. Agree. You often end up doing things in the last moment possible. Yeah, most, like sometimes, yeah. You have always been fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. I'm fascinated, but I don't want to know, so agree, but like, mm. you usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Oh, disagree. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Disagree. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. No, I don't find it easy. It's really hard for me. I'm going to do disagree there. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Disagree. You rarely second guess the choices that you've made. I like agree, but I don't. Oh my God, I hate who's in the middle one, but I don't know. Disagree. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Hell no, it's what I need to avoid. You enjoy going to art museums, agree. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings, agree. You like to have a to-do list for each day, not each day, no, mm -mm. but I do like to have a to-do list for my work days, which is four out of seven days. You rarely feel insecure. Um, I don't think I've, mm, I'm gonna do agree but like the lower scale agree because I have my moments but I don't think that I would take that on as like a personality trait you avoid making phone calls <laughs> yeah I agree like yeah I, I agree you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own <sighs> agree this is hard in your social circle you're often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities disagree I'm bad with that Unless it's, you're like my closest people, but like, no, nah, I'm really bad. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Huh? Oh, mm. Nah, I don't really care about that. You are still bothered by mistakes you made a long time ago. Disagree. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Completely disagree. I contemplate that all the time. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, I'm really in this bitch. Who am I? Who is in the mirror? Whose body is this? I am a soul in a vessel. <laughs> like I literally go on a trip when I look in the mirror, especially if it's after midnight. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Yeah, I agree. My emotions really control me. It's like, I'm really trying to work on that. You take great care not to make people look bad even when it is completely their fault. Mm, no, I don't care. That's on you. <laughs> Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. Mm, you know what? I agree with that. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. No, I've never thought that. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Hell to the yes. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Disagree. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. Disagree. Wait, hold on. You feel more drawn to places... Um, okay, no, no, no. I actually like when a restaurant's, like, busy. But if I'm, like, at the park, I want it to be dead empty. Like, I want there to be, like, four people. So, yeah. Neutral. You know at first glance how someone is feeling. Yeah, I do. You often feel overwhelmed. Yes, I get very overwhelmed. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. This so fucking agree. I'm all over the place. You're very intrigued by the things labeled as controversial. Yeah, I agree. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. <laughs> this 
disagree. You struggle with deadlines. Yes, when I was writing my book, I was constantly missing deadlines. Okay, agree, but like not fully. You feel confident that things will work out for you. I agree. Gender, female. See results. Drum roll. <gasps> I got the same one. Oh my God, that's so cool. Why am I so amazed by that? This is the third time I've taken this test and I still got the INTP logician. It's been years. Like the last time I took this was when I first started my YouTube channel. I made a video and then I never posted it because I didn't like it, it was too long. And it was 2016, it was my other channel. And I got the logician, INTP. Okay, so I'm more introverted than extroverted, which I knew. My energy, intuitive versus observant, I am more intuitive. Um, thinking over feeling, but it's pretty close, 55, 40%. My approach to work, planning, and decision-making is more prospecting rather than judging. My identity is turbulent rather than assertive. Okay, start reading. Ooh, this is long. I forgot how long this thing was. Okay, I'll probably read it like later on. The life of the mind. We lose themselves ourselves in thought, which necessarily isn't a bad thing. People with this personality type hardly ever stop thinking unless you start taking some anti-anxiety meds, then you get that shit under control. Um, yeah, that's very true. I'm constantly thinking and it overwhelms me a lot. Um, we seem to live in a never-ending daydream. We have a reputation for being pensive, detached, and a bit reserved. <laughs> Oy, this is very accurate. Um, logicians are introverts and tend to get tired out by extensive socializing. Yep, I thrive when I'm alone. It's crazy. We love to analyze patterns without necessarily knowing how we do it. We want to offer emotional support to friends and loved ones, but we don't necessarily know how because we can't decide on the best, most efficient way to offer support. Okay, strengths, analytical, original, open-minded, curious, objective, true, weaknesses, disconnected, insensitive, <sighs> dissatisfied, oh God, impatient, oh my God, perfection, yes, perfectionist. Romantic relationships. We appreciate alone time, but that doesn't mean we don't crave companionship. Finding a relationship that meets our standards isn't always easy for this personality. We can drag our feet when it comes to going out in the real world and meeting people. We have an interest in someone. It can take us a while to work up the will to risk rejection and ask the person out. Logicians are usually indirect and honest. We don't see the point of playing games. Yes. Gifts, surprises, complex social plans, and elaborate date nights are all fairly unimportant to them. I disagree with that. <laughs> no, I love that shit. Even if the partner does want these things, it may not occur to the logician to plan them out. These personalities may need to put special effort and attention into learning how to express their affection in a way that resonates with their significant other. Very true. Otherwise, their partner may feel ignored, underappreciated, or even unloved. Oh my goodness. Navigating conflict. We are prone to shutting down when emotional disagreements arise. Rather than slowing down and really listening, they may use the powers of logic to try and prove their partner wrong. Alternatively, they might offer easy, ay, 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 this is hard to read. Okay, I'm gonna read this on my own time so I can truly let it sink in because this is intense. This is, this is very accurate. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna keep skimming, but like I'm really gonna read this after the video's over. Um, we look to our friends for companionship and support. Choosy or selective. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. We're knowledge-based, buoyant. The meaning of friendship. When friends come to us with problems and dilemmas, we're usually excited to help, very true. We offer logical advice, rational solutions. Yep, yep, yep. Turning the messiest into pros and cons situations, yep. Parenthood, well, I'm not a parent, so I'm not gonna even bother skimming that right now. Career paths, let's see what it says for career paths. Oh, I thought it would give me like examples of careers. Yeah, there's a lot to read. And as much as I wanna sit here and go through it all with you, ooh, um, I don't know if that's the best idea because I don't think we all have the time for that. <laughs> it would be really long. But that was my MBTI personality test. And I'm very pleasantly surprised to see that I still have the same personality that I did. I mean, I don't know about pleasantly surprised, but I'm surprised to see that I still have the same personality. But I guess it makes sense because certain things just don't change. So I am an INTP. If you're curious to read my results, which I don't know if you are, I'll put it down below, but I'll also link the test down below if you want to take it. It's really interesting and very accurate. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next time.